consider I'm alone at the moment, but I'm not. I'm in a, a nursing home. And uh, I can't say I'm alone, but uh, I am a bit lonely, yes. Now, when I'm not in my own home, I don't like that at all. I'm sure there were times where I must have felt those things, but they, were, they, they haven't stayed with me and they certainly weren't profound enough or even large enough for them to be sort of registered as... Is it that they haven't stayed with you or that you blocked them out, that you purposefully forgot them? You, know, you can say, oh, they haven't stayed with me. That makes it sound as if they weren't important, but actually they might have been so important that you've had to block them out. I've always been alone. Mostly that's fantastic. Sometimes it's hard. It's become a habit. But now it's much more comfortable for me to be alone than with people. I was the uninvited member of my family. So there wasn't a great sense of belonging or participation. There was a sense of being on the outside. My brother and I spent more time together than I spent with either of my parents. Um, and I value my relationship with my brother because of that. Between being alone and being lonely, you can be lonely with other people. In my experience, Loneliness comes from not being recognised or perceived or believed. There's nothing lonelier than not being believed. I was thinking recently there's nothing lonelier than not having your pain believed. But I think not having your love believed is lonelier. I'm an only child, so I have been alone for very long stretches of my life. But being and, alone um, and is I'm fine because you know that. that others are there for you. But being lonely is being a lot French more difficult, a lot more uh, challenging to cope with because uh, you, you, you feel uh, like it's alone, just you against lonely. the world. Aloneness. Aloneness. I mean, I love being alone. I guess I, I, I interpret alone as... Having a alone time as well. Being lonely, it means by yourself and alone, and you've got no one. So being alone is just being on your own, like physically, physically on your own. Lonely, lonely is lonely. I've been pretty good at not feeling, um, because I've been very good at distracting myself. And lonely myself. is like a a longing, a longing for company. It's a space of longing, a space for desire. For something more and I I recognize it very well. Being properly alone is is the best protection I have against being lonely. I've been I was the baby of a family of seven children so I was never alone then. I'm in a, a nursing home for older people and I'm not really alone because they come into my bedroom often and they fix this up and they do that for me and they help me to shower. I like going to get something to eat when I want it. I don't like uh, having to cover up to the dining room and eat what they give me. I'd rather get that myself. Otherwise, I should call that lonely. Is lonely. Otherwise, I'm fine. I read a lot. I don't wear glasses. And I'm pretty old, but I don't. I love reading, and that fills in my time. I used to love playing the piano, but I've given that away now.
feel that alone is alone is when you are by yourself. And the states that you can experience when you are alone are either distraction from yourself, discomfort with yourself, or comfort and acceptance with yourself. And you're not and I think you spend a lot of time in your head, head and working things out by yourself, but you treasure and really value those times you spend with other people because they were the, they were the sort of the, the special times or the highlight times. It's nice when you do have people around, and it's great to be in relationships with people, whether it's friends or in loving relationship, loving relationships with families or with a, with a, with a partner. But I think maybe what 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 others feel as loneliness, I don't isn't for me the absence of uh, absence of company. It's the, it's the awkwardness of being with myself. Yeah, I'm sorry.